June 15th, 2016 progress video. Things are progressing well with both office buildings A and B. Uh, right here we're looking at office building A. As you can see, masonry is going up. Uh, the block is near completion and then they'll start on the brick. Uh, steel is supposed to start erection next Tuesday. Uh, everything is on schedule for building A. We're looking at a possible September 1st, middle of September delivery for any potential tenants. Uh, office building B, masonry piers are up. They'll be placing lentils uh, later this week. Uh, just completing the, uh, the water room masonry uh, in, in this video. Uh, some of the site work, all the utilities are, are in. Uh, they're waiting for the buildings to get further along before they do uh, grading for parking lots and curb and gutter in the road. We are now flying over in the direction of uh, the right in UDOT access. We now have that permit in hand. My recommendation is that we uh, install that just as, as soon as possible. So we're out uh, getting uh, some uh, bids to have that installed. It would be right here. You see the large sign kind of on the right side of the picture with the shadow? That sign will remain in that location with the access in front of it and the deceleration lane uh, heading in, in the direction towards the, uh, the intersection. Uh, you can see over on the additional 40 acres, grading is uh, proceeding uh, very well. They're about a month into that. They estimate another two, two and a half months to complete it. So right here, we're going to fly over the, uh, the potential hotel location that is uh, currently uh, uh, being discussed. It would be uh, right here in this location up against that roundabout. Uh, they are currently working on a, uh, a site plan to know exactly how that would lay out, but they're looking right here in this location. Now what we're looking at is, uh, so grading has moved kind of from that, that first phase onto the second phase, so they've started the, uh, the clearing and grubbing and the excavation of uh, the top six inches of topsoil in the remaining uh, uh, area here on the 40 acres. There was a farmer that wanted to get a, a, a first cut of hay off of that field, so we allowed him to do that uh, before we started clearing and grubbing and excavating. So all I'm doing here, uh, this is more just kind of for your information. I'm going to fly the perimeter of our 40 acres so you can see it in relationship to I-15 there off to the right and some of the other uh, roads. I think Larry was asking a question on a phone call early, earlier this week about uh, kind of the location of, of all of these parcels. So this road that you're seeing, uh, this dirt road, is, is where uh, the, uh, the separation of our, lot, our land from the Hammonds land. And there are uh, utilities in that road. They are not fully completed, but... Uh, there are there's stormwater and water and sewer under that road. So this road right here is what's called Proctor Lane. It's actually the city boundary between Pleasant Grove City and Linden City. Uh, our project lies within Pleasant Grove City, but uh, we sit right on the boundary. Let me make sure I fly my drone around this tree. Uh, don't want to put it into the tree. So we're flying towards, and our property line actually uh, is right here over this old road. It doesn't go um, out to the corner, but uh, this road here is North County Boulevard. So we're, ha we're flying back towards the intersection of Pleasant Grove Boulevard. 
Uh, we will be uh, looking at some uh, additional UDOT access permits along North County Boulevard here for some ride-in, ride-outs that uh, will be allowed under their current access management guidelines. We won't need any variances for those accesses. Um, and we're just moving back towards the intersection. So we just circled the additional 40 acres. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to show you this week.